Hey guys, uh, welcome to your bonus love reading for uh, Aquarius. This is going to be for the rest of your May 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So we are going to go with the person that you are in no contact with. We're going to see if it's a good idea for you to reach out to this individual and what will happen if there's any sort of communication between you and your person. Apply this to your own unique situations, okay? Uh, you may switch roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Aquarius people. Not time to get to Sorry, that's a military chat. <laughs> yeah, and, and there's a like an army base close to here. Sorry, guys. Um, so I lost my train of thought. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Aquarius people. Not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. But if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The uh, link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live, all right? So, Aquarius. The person that Aquarius is in no contact with, is it a good idea for Aquarius to reach out to the person that they are in no contact with for the uh, rest of their May 2024? Seven rising Venus signs for Aquarius. For Aquarius. So we have the Chariot and the uh, Ten of Cups, Cancer Energy here, Ten of Cups, Piscean Energy, Six of Cups here, and the uh, Emperor. You know, I feel like this person has sort of like leveled up here. Uh, they're stepping up to the plate and they're deciding that they want to be with you here, okay? Okay, sorry, sorry you guys, there's a mill. <laughs> That's another jet fighter, okay. Sorry, you guys. Seven of Cups. And then the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So, you know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this person went on to explore other options here, and I feel like these other options did not work out. And I feel like this person with the Emperor here, they're really serious about wanting to commit to you here, Ace of Pentacles. I feel like they can't stop thinking about a future here with you. Okay. Um, I also feel like this person's missing you a lot here with the Six of Cups. Let's see, what else do we have here? Six of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. So what we have here is I feel like this person wants to work on repairing this relationship. Okay, they want to put in the effort now, okay? This person wants to make changes here, okay? This person wants things to be different than what it was before. The Emperor, Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Seven of Cups, Four of Cups. So they are trying to figure out what is going on in your life. You know, they are curious. They are checking up on you. They want to reach out to you and apologize and make you an offer here. Uh, I do feel like this person's really serious here. I do. Okay? They're realizing that you are their wish fulfillment. You are their shining star here. Okay? So, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's really up to you. You have free will to choose what you want to do here. All right? So what, I, I'm not quite sure what this person did, uh, but, you know, I feel like, you know, it seems like this person went off to explore other options here, or that this person was very indecisive. Um, what else do we have here for Aquarius? What will happen if there's any sort of communication between Aquarius and the person that they are in no contact with for the rest of May 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Aquarius. Aquarius. So we have the Ace of Cups here and the Six of Swords. This person is in love with you. Yeah, this person's in love with you. And I feel like this person does not want, this person cannot imagine their life without you, I feel. Um, and I feel like this person can't move forward without you either. Ten of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. 
And this person carries around a lot of burdens with them or that this is weighing very heavily on their heart. I feel like this person has a lot to say. I do feel like they want to apologize for hurting you, okay? I do see that this person wants to do everything that they can to win you back, all right? Yeah, I, I do feel like this person's going through some sort of release here too. So I feel like, you know, this no contact, this separation is actually doing this person good because I feel like in a way they're working on, them, uh, working on themselves. They're healing. They're making some changes here, okay? Some of the Ace of Cups, King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This person's ready for marriage and commitment. Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo with the King of Pentacles. We have the Six of Swords here and the Three of Pentacles. So they want to work together as a team with you to rebuild this connection, to resolve things here, and move on. Yeah, uh, Six of Wands, not the Six of Wands, the Ten of Wands, Eight of Wands, Six of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. This person is rushing back in quickly with communication here. This person, like I said, wants to talk. They want to clear the air. Uh, this person might even kind of like put pressure on you to get back together with them. Okay, with the Knight of Swords here. Uh, the Nine of Cups. And the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces energy. They just know that you are the one. You know, with the High Priestess, you could be sensing that this person's coming back. Okay, the Nine of Wands here. Empress of the Empress. Perhaps this is you. You know the best thing to do is to turn your back on this individual here, okay? And to not put up with this BS anymore because you feel like there's a likelihood that if you did give this person a chance, they will hurt you again. You know, I feel like you're off manifesting on your own. When it co comes to this person here, I feel like you have nothing to give because I feel like your heart's broken here. If anything, you don't want to work together with this individual to resolve things here. I feel like you're resolving things on your own, okay? Yeah, I feel like it's an energy. I feel like you went ice cold on this individual here, okay? And I feel like the more that you distance yourself from this individual, Aquarius, I feel like they don't know what to do. Yeah, it seems like you're just moving on. Right now, I feel like you're stable, you're happy here. Perhaps you guys are in a new relationship, but you might view this person as someone here who's really, really toxic and you just are done, okay? So Aquarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this re uh, resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.